The first thing I want to talk about is this concluding towards the end of Surah An-Nahl. Allah Azza wa says, "Ud'u ila sabili Rabbik," which is commonly translated, "Invite to the way of your Lord." That's how it's translated typically. Invite to the to the way of your Lord. Bil hikma, meaning using wisdom, or invite to the way of your Lord wisely. But let's think about this a little more deeply. When you invite someone, inviting someone is an act of friendship. It's an act of kindness and it's an act of love. You don't invite someone that you hate. And inviting someone cannot happen when you're angry. In other words, you don't go over to someone inviting them to dinner to your house and say, hey, come to my house. You don't do that because that is the guaranteed way of your, your invitation not being accepted. What I'm trying to get at is that the idea of da'wah, the idea of spreading or inviting people to Islam, the idea of da'wah itself is an act of love and courtesy and respect for the person you're giving da'wah to. It cannot be filled with a message of hate. It cannot be filled with a message of judgment. It cannot be a condescending message where you come across as better than the one you're talking to. It cannot do any of those things because if it is, it's just not an invitation. It's just not an invitation. Now that's the first word that Allah uses, ud'u. And then he says, ila sabili rabbik. Call to the path of your master. Now I want you to think about this. There's lots to talk about in classical tafsir, but I want to make it very simple for our audience today. It's really easy to understand. When I invite someone, I invite them to my house, yes? I invite them to a conference. I invite them to a retreat. I invite them to this program. I invite them to a restaurant. Meaning what I'm trying to say is you invite people to a destination. What you do is you invite people to a destination. But you don't call someone and say, hey, I want to invite you to Highway 95. That doesn't make any sense. You don't invite people to a path. You invite people to a what? A destination. That's what makes sense. Now think about what Allah said. Ud'u ila sabili rabbik. Invite people to what? The path of your master, the road of your master. He's not, the invitation is not to the destination. The invitation is to the road, which is unlike any other invitation. When someone, now let me help you understand why that is, because this is profound wisdom in the Quran, profound wisdom in the Quran. When you invite someone to your house, which is a destination, and they don't show up, they don't show up, they're two hours late. Or like me for Jumu'ah today, I was, an, I was an hour late. So if you're late, then people are upset with you because what? You did not make it to the destination. But if you were invited to the path, then it doesn't matter if you've traveled a thousand miles, and it doesn't matter if you've only traveled ten feet. You have already met your goal because you are where? on the road. You're on the road. In other words, Allah Azza wa has given us a profound gift that to help us understand what da'wah means. You're not asking people to reach the destination of perfection. You're not asking people. We're not expecting from anyone, not from me, not from you. No one is expected to be an absolute, complete, perfect submission to Allah without any mistakes. No, no, no. And people aren't even expected to be at the same level. No. Because this is a path. Some people will make progress faster than others. Some people are going to be way ahead. Some people are going to be behind. Some people are going to move really slowly. And some people are going to move super fast. Some people are just getting started. And their progress is literally an inch a day. Almost feels like they're not making any progress at all. Feels like that. But you know what? All of that, all of that is a success. And if any of those people die, if any of them died on the road, meaning it feels like they were just traveling and they didn't even make it to their destination and their journey came to an end, they died. They are acceptable with Allah because they were on the road. The entire religion of Islam is described as a road. إِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ Think about that. The entire life you spend is a road that you're traveling on. And the point of a road is to make progress. But Allah did not, did not define for us how fast and how quick 
and how much progress quantitatively you're supposed to make because every human being is different.